Alexei Rosenfeld has dived all over the world, but this is something new. Along with his team, he's diving where no human has been before. We're now 135 kilometers from shore and around 600 from the mouth of the Amazon. It's a real challenge to dive in conditions that no one knows. No one has ever dived here before. We have to go through a really thick layer of sediment from the Amazon mouth. This layer is about 20 meters deep and after that it's pitch black until the bottom. It is a deep and complex dive. Careful preparation and double checking of equipment is essential. So there they go, and they'll be heading down to a depth of 110 metres, which is so deep they'll only have 15 minutes on the seabed. And in that time, they've got to collect samples and send them back up to the surface. And then they have to stay in the water, submerged for three hours to decompress. They drop down and down into almost complete darkness, the scene lit by their dive lights. At the bottom, they have to work fast, collecting biological samples. Other divers scan the reef and film it for review, revealing a rich array of biodiversity. The samples are sent up to the surface. Our boat heads over to pick them up and we haul them on board. And as the divers stay below to decompress, the samples arrive back on the Esperanza. There's all manner of life here, including all types of mollusks, crustaceans, sponges and starfish. And are you finding uh, species that you don't recognize as well? Oh, plenty. Plenty, because this is all deep sea stuff, so very, very few people know them. Very, very. It's very rare. Meanwhile, back with the divers, some inquisitive hammerhead sharks pass by the decompression stop. But it's just an inquiry. The sharks lose interest and head off. Back on the ship, it's time for a closer look at the kind of species that exist here. It has been an extraordinary morning, and one that even the most experienced divers have found exhilarating. It's uh, thrilling. I mean, we're, we're diving where yeah, nobody has ever been. It's like discovering new, a new world. In an age when our oceans are threatened by climate change, overfishing, oil drilling and deep sea mining, the scientific evidence the team gather will help bolster the case for greater protection of the world's seas. Nick Clark, Al Jazeera, off the coast of French Guyana.